economic activity. At a time where small towns are getting smaller, New England, North Dakota, is booming. The superintendent tells us in the last decade, the school has grown from about 145 students to 300. And as Renee Cooper reports, $11 million later, with a school busting at the seams, it will now be split off into a brand new building. Young families are flocking to set up home base in New England, and the local public school has doubled in size. We're just running out of space. Although it's K through 12, the biggest classes are the kindergarten rooms, some packed to the brim with 30 students. That's what prompted this building. It will house pre-K through sixth grade students starting in the fall, freeing up the existing building for older students. The correctional facility that we have down here has uh, brought quite a few people in, plus the, uh, the energy industry as well. We see a lot of uh, people that would prefer to live in a smaller environment rather than uh, Dickinson. Superintendent Kelly Coppinger says a project of this magnitude is hard to imagine in a town of about six to 800 people. We added uh, eight classrooms, a uh, kitchen, a cafeteria, music room, a uh, new gymnasium, locker rooms. We've been having kids eat from 1030 in the morning till one o'clock just to get them through. Science teacher Daryl Young toured the building for the first time today. He's a veteran teacher here in New England of 49 years. And before that, he was a student. I graduated here from New England Public in 1967. We had 20 in ours. At that time, then we, we really decreased down to class size of probably eight that we had graduating classes. Now they've increased to the 30s. He's sticking around to see what this huge room with a dirt floor will soon become. I drive by it every day and I'm really excited about the gymnasium and I told the administration I'd probably stay until that gym was built. I'd like to see it for one year. The gym behind him isn't cutting it for all of the after school practices. We go down to the correction center down here and practice every day there. Coppinger says with this new space, the city is prepared for the next 20 to 25 years of growth. The school took out a $5.6 million loan from the state and another around $5 million from the community's building fund, funded by local taxes to make this a reality. Reporting for KX News in New England, Renee Cooper. Coppinger says the school is also in the process of bringing in additional teachers and staff to fill those classrooms. The African American Heritage